much. Our team coverage continues right now at 5:30 as Henri approaches. The concern, of course, is also focusing on boats for boat owners. Yeah, many of them, as you can imagine, are rushing to either secure their vessels or take them out of the water completely. Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us now live from Westbrook with more details. And Patricia, at this point, the clock really is ticking. It is, and they are watching this carefully. They're not only concerned about the wind, but they're also concerned about storm surge on their boats. We are at a marina in Westbrook. Behind me, these are kind of smaller boats, and this is a bit more of a protected area. A lot of the folks that we saw today were people that have large boats that are in deeper water. They can be very much affected, and their job was to get those yachts out of the water. At the Oak Leaf Marina in Old Saybrook, they're working fast and furiously to get big boats like this 60 foot, two or three million dollar yacht out of the water. It is lifted up by straps and then rolled onto land, parked and secured with blocks. The marina's president, Scott Massey, says they'll be doing this continuously ahead of the storm. We have a plan in place every year for this. Uh, yesterday, it was not a big deal. Today, it's a big deal. These larger boats are more at risk. Most of the boats you see coming out now are boats that are stored down the river. Uh, where they are badly exposed to storms out of the east. So we haul them out of the water to prepare for the storm. Stephen Tagliatella co-owns the Saber Point Inn and Marina. He's sending these yachts here to Oak Leaf to be safely secured. So we're preparing down at Saybrook Point with doubling up people's lines, uh, taking canvas off, and also helping them come to facilities like this. For people like Steve Joseph, who own a much smaller boat, he says they're suggesting he keep it in the water for now and just tightly secure it. Bottom line, I think I'm safe. Plenty of time to change my mind in the next 24, 48 hours. So he's going to be watching things carefully. Now, we want to tell you, we did see an alert from the Coast Guard, and the Coast Guard is saying that they know that there are people who are going to want to be out boating this weekend, and they are saying that if you do intend to bring your boat out this weekend, you better watch the pattern very carefully because you can find yourself in a lot of trouble very quickly. We're live in Westbrook. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Patricia. Ahead of